keep in this over on Spencer Lake. X amount of years. I just want to know your favorite moment or time or hanging out or whatever. I know yours, but we didn't get on. We do have it on video, but we've never showed it. I like my one episode I was in. Yeah, it was, summer, <laughs> it, was it was a summertime mini soda, and you built a dam. I, <laughs> I do remember that. I, I can show some. Still be there. I, I can show some clips from that. I can show some clips from that. Yeah, probably. Thank Linda for that. That's pretty. That's pretty legit. I don't. She didn't pay very much for that thing either. Hey, Lindsay, Linda. Good luck. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Turtle, turtle. Say, I don't know if we were recording back then when right. early stages of the goat foot. That night was probably one of the best nights. Matt's buck? Yeah. We were. So that was also never released. So we have that footage and we've never released it. This would be a perfect time to show some of that. We could show Matt's buck from that night. That was... I. I do regret that we never filmed your buck recovery. I know, I could that show was some, an amazing one. I could show some pictures from that because that was awesome. We just didn't do any video. We took a bunch of pictures, no video. Yeah, well, we had like little digital cameras. Yeah, I mean, like shit. they were like Walmart jobs. They were like weird, but... I had that giant-ass spotlight. <laughs> yes, so your buck recovery was fun. Super fun, no video. Your buck was recovered on video. I will show some of that video. I can. I'll show as much as I can show. Right, you have to blur that. Yeah, I'll show as much as I can show about your recovery. We Rainbow. were a bunch of teenagers. <laughs> we, I think we might have been twenty or twenty-one, but we went nuts and. I think we were younger. I'll have to come over to your house and get some pictures of your mount because that was pretty cool. That was at Grandma Nancy's. That was fun. That was fun. But yeah, the goat foot stuff was cool. And I do. It's the video is real bad. It's like grainy, yeah, old, old, like school. it's so bad. But well, I can show you guys out. walked right past Isaac's deer. That was pretty funny. Yeah, I got that on video too. Like me and Isaac were like, we're down on the ground. Like, oh my gosh, blood, blood, blood. And everyone else is like, the deer is right, right there. Here. It's Walk dead. Right it's it. dead. <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, that was cool. But again, I had another giant ass light. Yeah, yeah. Matt's Honestly, my favorite video to watch is probably the Indiana public land one. Yeah, we're redoing that this year. And you, I mean, if you want to come, Jim, we got the dates. But so that hasn't been talked about. And I guess I could talk about that if I want. Now we're going to do a YouTube meetup with a bunch of different channels in Indiana, public land, based off of how THP does their stuff in October. And we're going not to the same place of that Indiana stuff, but your cousin killed a good buck that year. I can show that. Your cousin killed a really nice buck. 20 minutes on public land. He hunted for 20 minutes on public land with a climber stand killed mature buck yeah, and probably, that was cool that's probably my favorite episode to watch yeah that was cool and that's pro i think that's like our third or fourth most watched episode honestly probably <laughs> but i'll be able to show your track job and i can show alex's track job and i can show birchie building a the dam there's nick oh jeez we're doing it we're doing it, we're doing it live <laughs> i do love the, you know i think all of us whenever I, I, you know i've been asking everybody what their favorite stuff is it's always a certain track job. I remember when me and you had our measure off in 2020. Yeah. It was 2020, we had our measure off. I beat you by like one inch. Yeah. Like one inch or two inches or something. So that was cool. I can show that. <laughs> that was a good year. Small deer, good year. You know what I mean? Small deer, good year. A lot of deer shot. I knew he'd bring Ryan. I can go ask them their stuff right now. All right, before we get too canned up, I got to talk to you two, and then I can put the cameras away for the rest of the night. Woo! I got to talk to be, to you guys about your favorite moments of our videos over the years. Ooh, like, what yeah. is your... This is the 100th episode, so we're going over... I mean, I know yours. I wasn't there, so... No, that doesn't need to be mine. <laughs> I mean, it could be. Hey, as soon as I saw his body, I just got in position. I was like, okay, this is going to happen. I need to make it happen. I'll tell you how old he is. He feels nuts. 
Holy shit. Holy shit. Get a shot of these. Hey, oh, yeah. it's Look October. It's, it's sweet October, baby. He was ready to burst. He never seen a set on my home. I got it. I like, I like the truck. I like when you told Alex what was up in life last year. Oh. <laughs> I think the best moment was when you got Traveler. Yeah, we hugged. And, uh, we hugged it I'm out. Like, why don't you just go to the deer, yes, man? Yes, I'll show it because I was, I was. We have seven. I hesitate to show those videos because I was God, a little tanked right? up, a little That's tanked right. up. That's but all right. I'll it show. Happens. It. I'll show. It happens. We did have a good embrace after that. It was that. good. It was a good day. I liked my favorite memory. Of yours is I know I wasn't there for the giant buck, but your giant buck was just laying dead in the field. You know? Yeah, I watched it die, and I called Nick, and he didn't even. Yeah. Nick's like, no. He just like, no, it's not. I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm looking at it right now. It's, it's right here. <laughs> besides the two, besides the two, like Dylan's and Luke's, you know, whatever deer. That was the biggest one that any of us have ever killed. I mean, that's yeah. the biggest deer that any of us have ever killed. I think it was a giant. When a plan comes and it was together. The... My favorite moment was probably Tyler killing G2. Yeah, I, I hate that you weren't there. Or or maybe Tyler wasted over a traveler in that chair with four headlights on. <laughs> like that's probably a favorite moment. Yeah. Rest in peace, Grandma Simon. Your 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 wheelchair got some use that night. Your wheelchair got some use that night. I wish I like that you shot at G2 days before. Yeah, good story. Alright, the audience knows nothing, Nick, at this moment. Nothing. So in so case we, we need it, because I can delete this hey, video. Are we, are we live? We're not yeah, live. We're live. We're not live, but I can delete the video. Are we recording? Yes, okay. yes, we are okay. recording. <laughs> let, let me get ready. <laughs> Edit and go. All right, guys. Is that how he opens? Yes. All right, guys. So, <laughs> what's the date? Fuck it up like yeah. Luke would. Yeah, so it's uh, no November 29th. <laughs> um, no, 30th. Fuck. <laughs> uh, so, we may have hit a buck. I think we hit a buck. <laughs> May have missed a buck. We're hoping we hit it. All right, a little backstory time. It's December 1st, Tuesday, second day of Ohio's gun season. And last night, right before last night, and right before the snowstorm hit, Nick shot his number one G2, 80 yards. He wasn't sure the hit, he didn't find blood. The deer definitely acted hit. Bounded off, I shouldn't say bounded off, ran into this cover, thick cover, head down, 60 yards, cut into this thick cover, and then this blizzard hit. All right, guys, it is Friday, December 4th, and the short version is Tyler shot a buck this morning, and he has good blood. We found a bed, so we backed out. But yeah, I shot, and it dropped, like, ooh. And then his head went down, so I'm like, okay. And he's kind of kicking a little bit. And then he got back up, but he was real close to the woods. By the time I got on him, he was he was facing away, like, dragging his ass into the woods. So my second shot was shitty, and I missed. It's bleeding out of his mouth, dude. All that blood's coming out of his mouth, right? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That right there, boys, is the end of the story of G2. End of the story of G2. And there was a north wind. So what he was doing is he would run his loop, take that ridge, and come downwind of his bedding in that battle. Or if it's Zanoni's or wherever he was. I mean, it worked out okay. So I don't know if we've ever talked about it on video, but we can talk about it real quick. If you would have killed G2 that night, and if you would have killed 33 buck last year when I was with you, you would have had triple 150s. Yeah. That's something none of us have ever done. Yeah. No one here has ever yeah. done triple 150s. You guys won't even like hanging out. Nick, Nick was six minutes away from doing it, but he failed twice. So he got one 150, 
and it was beautiful. Triple 150s in a row? Yeah. Like year after year? What? Triple 150s. In a row. In a row. I killed a 156. A... Dylan. No, you had a I year killed, off. I killed yeah. a, no, I killed a 206, 156, and a 159. We'll verify that later at your house when I come over and look at your mounts. You can me I I know. measure that 10 point. Yeah, but you weren't filming any of it. <laughs> Still killed them. <laughs> But Nick almost had triple 150s on film. Well, we hate to say that we we have found we have found the 33. Ball. I know, and I I haven't the 30. I don't even know if I, we, we probably can't talk about it because Nick won't let me use the video. So the 33 buck might be alive four years, three sheds. You know, we'll talk about that later. We'll we'll talk about that later. But Ryan said his favorite moment was when he killed your buck last year. I didn't say that. He didn't. He actually didn't say actually, that. Actually, not the fact that he nope. killed his buck. It's just the fact that he broke his heart. I he broke his heart while I was in the driver's seat of my Bert. truck. Bert. I was in the driver's seat of my truck holding my phone as I saw Alex's heart break. Yeah, because we were right going to, to him, we were going to track him and we knew he was dead. I should have recorded my uh, reaction. I sat down in the truck with Caleb and he goes, Ooh. "Is this the deer?" And I said, "Yeah." He goes, "Alex nope. just sent me." That. Yeah. Uh, that was from Saturday. You shot uh, him on what, two? If you would. God damn it. You find him? Hell yeah, <laughs> boy! <laughs> I almost cut the video. I almost cut the video. Oh, boy! <laughs> oh, he's stiff. He's stiff. He's stiff. He's stiff. Oh, it is? Oh, yeah. There you go. He's dead as fuck, dude. Hell yeah. That's no blood, like, that's no blood trail at all. No way. This is right where he fucking came in, too. God. That brow time junk is gonna help oh, immensely, you immensely. You cannot beat extra points like that. Look at, I mean, there's barely any blood right here. He's definitely a long hit. <laughs> I feel like, Chris, I feel like this is the year. So last year we broke some slumps, mm -hmm. mainly Isaac. Yeah. I think this year it's you and Matt. I feel you like, and Matt are gonna kill bucks this year, it. and we're gonna talk like. about it. And I think was a slump. Yeah, I think was a slump buster last year. Ladies, he, slump, he opened the door. Buster. He opened oh, the door for yes. Matt and I. What kind of slump are we talking? Younger than us. Uh, killing deer. Yeah, killing deer. I heard hey, you have bucks. a girl. I heard you have a girlfriend. Yeah, and she's real. <laughs> she's real. She's real. Yeah. So this year it's you, Matt, and Luke. I want Luke to be joined in. Okay, that's You, Matt, and Luke. Mature bucks. Yes. Bows. Films. We party. Yeah. Well, we have to get down south. Five years in a row for you? Quite a bit. I mean, you're on a good streak. It will be. Five? Listen, you're, you, I need so you have, your luck. So you're, hey. four, you're at four years in a row? Yeah. I'm at three. Four. Dylan's technically at one. Luck. Let me get some. I've been, I've been every other year the past yeah. five years. Yeah. We might have a new uh, uh, a new three-man member. 17. So, yeah, that's fine. You're a lot. I, I told him he's free agent. 17 was a 200. But Dinah County Hunters, 18, he's 19, a free. 19, 150. Yeah, that 10 point. Doug to the curb, huh? Doug's kicked to the curb. No, Doug. I'm getting married. I'm not doing it. He doesn't want in. He's at the wedding. So it's going to be like me, you, and Chris, or me, you, and Matt, or me, you, and Luke. We'll be all right. I'm going to snag that big 10. Yeah, I'm going to snag that big 10. Let's do me, you, and Chris. Let's do me. Right? Yeah, you yeah, we can do we yeah. can do Luke, yeah. Tyler, and Matt. Luke, it's Tyler, all over. Matt. Like, it's in the Braddock. Luke, Tyler, and Matt. It's Why in my field. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just saw all these trucks. I figured I'd pull you know over. This, you know this guy? <laughs> yeah. No I was going to ask you about Dave. Oh, no, yeah, it's my boy. It's my boy. <laughs> hey, That's you're in your first video. Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> hey, hey viewers. Up, guys? <laughs> hit that subscribe. Hit that like. <laughs> yeah, see? I like this guy already. I love this guy. Smash that like button. Yeah, see, smash that. Smash I like that shirt, too. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. Bunch of Democrats, but. Stop that. No, they're not. They are. No. Uh, they Dave, are. Caleb, Caleb, Dave, Dave, by the way. Nice to meet you. Good to meet Fist. you, man. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Good to meet and you. And then you got Dylan over here. Dylan, nice to meet you, sir. And then good to meet you. Caleb's brother, Isaac. I shook his hand once already. Oh, okay, Isaac, cool. good to meet you. Second time. Alex. Again. Hey, Alex. Alex. Nick. Nick. Yep. Hey, dude. You, you just met the whole crew, literally, besides yeah. Tyler and Luke. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, Luke's working. Yeah, Tyler's Ethan, at the fair. Ethan's in Spain. Ethan's in Spain. Uh, and Freeman's at Kid Rock. Luckily Freeman's at Kid Rock. Space. Jimmy's over there somewhere, and Matt, you know, they're he's, screwing he's off. The <laughs> yeah, There's got to be a better SPL than that. He, he loves the fact that was cool. Yeah, I enjoyed it. was cool. Straight deer hunt. Three days straight. Four days We're doing it again this year. We're doing it again this year. Big meetup. Big meetup this year. One fucking tragic year this year. I'm taking that Milwaukee tower light I have fucking all over my shoulder. Yeah, we're like, oh, I'm gonna have that perfect slice of hunting heaven. 
can't take any videos or a place that you can chase after the same buck season after season and develop that hunter quarry. Fucking love this. I can't wait for this fucking night. All right, Ryan, before we get in our fancy football sense, you missed Friday, which, by the way, was a lot of fun. I heard. It was a lot of fun. But you saw Kid Rock. Woo. Party bus was fun. I believe that. All right, so what's your favorite SBO moment? Or just anything. You know, a lot of the guys, so I'll give you examples. Your brother's favorite moments were obviously his buck and the deer, the night that Matt shot his buck and the goat foot and Isaac and the tracking. So that wasn't even really something that was on our show or anything, but it was just what we did. And there was some camera stuff with that, but it was what we were doing before. We were posting a lot of stuff online, but it can be something old like that. I mean, it doesn't matter. Um, what if the cameras weren't there? Yeah, I mean, if there's no camera, that's fine. I mean, obviously, your buck is cool. We can always tell the story right, about I mean, how was, you popped a hole in that I deer's was, head. I was pretty much going to go there. I would probably say that would probably be my favorite SBO moment because of the uncertainty I had at the time about why the fuck this deer is laying on the ground. Yeah, and walking up to it, not seeing any entrance or exit wounds, and popping another round through it, and it almost did a little bit of a heave, like it was gonna get up. So I kind of started backstepping myself away. Yeah, and we had that deer on camera. So too. I mean, there's my, show camera pictures of that. My one. stepdad and my stepbrother were in Southern Ohio uh, hunting at the time. Yeah, and so I called Caleb and I called my neighbor, and I'm freaking out. Couldn't he, believe I finally had a big rack on the ground, and he Caleb comes over, and a little bit of time passes, and he's just looking at it, and he takes his finger, and he pokes it right in his fucking forehead, and I ricocheted off his forehead, yeah, chipped his antler, and knocked the fucker out, and if I wouldn't have put a fucking second shot through the vitals, probably would have got up and ran away. So. Do you remember, uh, I mean, I know you remember, but do you remember when we were hunting here across the street? Yeah. And I didn't take Junior. Yeah, and I, and I told you, no, 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 just pass him, pass him. You had a 135-inch buck broadside at 10 yards in yeah, October. that one was rough. Still trying to get that rack. Uh, Brandon says he has that rack and he'll give it to me, but he's been saying that for a couple years, so. I would say another SBO all-timer would be me and Jay were out here hunting, and uh, he was on the southwest side of the property. Yeah. I was southeast. Um hunting real close to where Luke ended up killing Freak Daddy uh, not too much longer after that and at that time no one had really seen Freak Daddy. Caleb I think had a picture in May of some big fat stubs. Yeah and yeah, May it was early May and he had and, antlers out to his ears but like that but was it. No one really had pictures of, the, of him no one really knew what was going on and and I see on the other side of the valley you know what, what was, was a 200 inch deer that you just don't see um, hiking it east and you know trying to call out to him and, and it wasn't happening but the, the drop time that was actually the g2 kicker i mean it looked like it just dropped 10 inches yeah. which it pretty much did and i just remember coming back to the house and i just wasn't sure people actually believed what i saw and luckily jay i had there with me to uh reinforce my visions yeah we're gonna we're in the it probably won't be this year. I wanted it to be this year, but we had too many projects, so it never got to. But we're probably going to end up doing a full-length total breakdown on Freak Daddy. The whole yeah. story. The backstory, the history. I mean, his sheds are up here. We got his sheds up here, and it's obviously he's in the house. I'll show some quick video of that when we go in there. He's in the house, dead. Who killed him? But I mean, if you go We've on... never really done a video on it much, you know? There's not a lot... If you go on Google and you type in Freak Daddy... Yeah. And you just click on images... It's it still pops it's up. It's still all this one deer. Yeah, which I mean, is hilarious. But we we'll get we'll tell that. I think we'll tell that story next year. That'll be a we'll we'll use that as a filler in September. Maybe I'll do a film out of that. But and if I get to throw one more thing in there, because sure. I'm kind of in all about the carnage, uh, the Easter massacre down in Tynesta, Pennsylvania. There's no video of that. I might have got a kick in the face from a big old boot, but. You know, it was a good time. We know Matt's going to be watching this video because he watches all our videos. So, Matt, yeah. there's your shout out. Yeah. Well, that was Dan that, yeah, came, but, that I mean, came in the boot. But Matt came to... Matt took care of it. Matt took care of it. So, yeah. Um, that that was... Those are some good ones. Well, like, since you missed Friday, we I got to interview you. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we got... No, I just... No, we're just talking about our favorite SBO moments because I'm putting together an episode. So, I need... Mm. Uh, you're the last guy I have to interview. You and Freeman were the last ones. Can we think on it? Can we think on it?
And you can't say G2. Obviously, we all can't say our own buck. Oh, so, like, no, no. Well, you should have told me that before I said my own buck. I well, said I mean, my own. Uh, he, well, I said buck tree. So, just the whole. <laughs> Actually, you could probably say your own buck. I mean, you no, probably no, could. It'd be like saying, I enjoyed when no, you got laid no, for the first time no. before I did. <laughs> no, something else happened. <laughs> something else happened. What was it? I don't know. I mean, G2 was pretty good. <laughs> no, Nick's like, favorite moment was you and Grandma's wheel trap in the shop the night I saw Traveler. <laughs> <laughs> I found that video today, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Rolling yeah. around. Okay, I think about it. I think about it. I mean, I'd come back to you after the draft, but I'll put you on the spot. But I mean, gun season trout last... camp count. Yeah, I mean, we all love trout camp. He, he, Ryan said the Easter massacre. I said I gonna, trout I camp. I was gonna say the Easter. Yeah, <laughs> trout camp's always. I, I was gonna say the. Um... I'm going to start wearing floaties. I was going to say. Do you remember the COVID year when we were ordered not to go to the state of Pennsylvania and you guys went anyways? Yeah. I no, remember well, that. Well, I was going to say this, the, our tying us to SummerSlam event with the, the Battle Royale and yeah. camp. I think one of my favorite videos that's way, 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 way back is Tyler's Zombie Turkey. Yeah, oh, yeah that's the very that first video on the channel. That is the very, very video number one on the channel. About that one. That's a good the turkey one. that just wouldn't die. He only shot him that seven times, one. eight oh, times. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Seven, eight times, something like that. Swear, don't swear. Wait, 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 wait. The other turkeys are still feeding. Wait, wait. You should like him. I killed him. He's right there. He's right there. He's going in the woods. I might be able to pull him out. Your turkey's done, dude. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Take a shot at Take a shot at Get out, get out the get out the blind, get out of the blind, chase him down, get out of the blind. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. That thing was dead. <laughs> Alright guys, end of the episode. Uh, I'm gonna wrap some stuff up here, but uh, I decided to give my thoughts. Uh, I've had a lot of fun producing the show over the last seven seasons and the last 13 years really on YouTube. Um, it's work, but once you get the hang of it and once you start to really enjoy it, uh, it doesn't become as much work as you would think. Uh, it becomes very enjoyable. Uh, my favorite memories over the years, I mean, it's real easy to look at the stuff. It's really easy to look at my bucks that I've killed and some of that stuff. So I'll, I'll kind of glass over that. But um, I really enjoy turkey season around here. We didn't really talk too much about that in this episode, but... Turkey season is a lot of fun. Uh, we get through winter, we get through our shed hunting, and all of a sudden we get a month or two where we can run around and chase gobblers in the morning, and it's, it's low stress and it's just high reward. Uh, we've had some really good hunts over the years chasing turkeys on SBO Live, and uh, unfortunately, YouTube and especially our audience um, doesn't really get into turkey hunting too much. It's not much of a uh, it's not much of a draw, I should say. So, you guys might not see much of our turkey hunting content just because it doesn't get promoted. On social media very much but we do enjoy making it and i really enjoy making it um obviously trout camp and deer camp are two things that are just irreplaceable in my mind um that's the kind of stuff we live for going to pennsylvania with all the guys or going over to west virginia with the gore family and just enjoying that atmosphere is a lot of fun um i really enjoy the shed hunting it's something i do 
as a group and solo a lot. Uh, the solo shed hunting stuff, it's a good time to reflect. I do a lot of my scouting. It's nice to be in the woods uh, with no stress and just putting the miles in. And uh, the stuff you can find really is a lot of fun. Um, obviously, we have a pretty good collection here over the years. I would definitely like to expand on that if I can uh, in the future. But other than that, uh, I just enjoy being around the guys. I mean, getting everyone together, having a place like this now to, to be able to celebrate stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun, and uh, that's why we do it. We wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun. If it was work, we wouldn't do it. So I would say that's my favorite stuff, looking back. Uh, just getting together and all the good times we've had over the years. Um, we are, and then we talked about it a little bit earlier with some of the guys, but they're, the big announcement coming this fall, besides the fact that Isaac and Matt and Dylan and them are going to do a lot of Western hunting this year again for the second year in a row. We're pretty excited about that. The next big announcement is our public land YouTube meetup. So we're going to have a lot of stuff talking about that in the coming weeks. Mid-October, we're meeting up on public land. We're not going to announce the state yet, but uh, we're meeting up on public land with hopefully seven or eight other YouTube channels. I got about 10 interested, and I know two or three are going to show up for sure, but it'd be great to get seven or eight different channels together. I'll announce all that in some future videos, but we are going to do a THP-inspired public land meetup. Basically, share camp. Everyone goes out and hunts throughout the week. Um, and then we just come back to the base and share our experiences and we each get to film and uh, do some networking. It should be a lot of fun. So it's definitely inspired by THP. So thank you guys for that kind of format. Um, yeah, that's about all I got. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Watch for the Western stuff. Watch for the meetup stuff. And uh, I'll pull a Bill Winky and uh, always dream big. Two sixes. Oh, yes, right.